What brought me to this beautiful place on earth, meeting these beautiful people and this good, lovely environment is the name. The name was Sufi Festival. I saw love in the air. I felt love in the air. People are from different walks of life, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different cultures, different languages, different creeds. But what brought everyone together was the four letter word, love. I'm here today to represent Glasgow as Deputy Lord Provost, to represent the people of Glasgow and the Lord Provost of Glasgow. It's, uh, it's been absolutely wonderful to be here, to see the wealth of, of culture, uh, Sufi culture, music, tradition and food, and to meet such wonderful people involved in making it happen, so many volunteers. I definitely think Glasgow needs more events like this. It's a really fantastic opportunity to build bridges, to uh, educate each other about the diversity uh, of the world and of our city. And what better place to do that in the South Side, one of the most multicultural and diverse places in Glasgow. Um, so yeah, a really fantastic way uh, to, to learn more when we live in such a world of division, to build those bridges and to learn more about each other and to foster kindness and inclusion. There's been a lot of talk about love, uh, compassion and kindness and that's certainly something that I want to take away that, uh, that, that we should be focused much more of uh, rather than our, ourselves which we all too often have a tendency to do in our society so my takeaway from this is love and kindness. <laughs> I have the best time. I've been in many festivals in the UK, but honestly, uh, this is from uh, the deep of my heart. The best, the best festival is Sophie Festival Glass. So, Assalamu alaikum, we are the Pros of Islam. We just finished our performance at the Sufi Festival. Um, we were here a couple of years ago at the last festival, and it's such an honor to be invited again and just be in this beautiful space with beautiful people. It was great to have the crowd singing along. Um, so, yeah, we're on a high now, with a high, of lo a high on love, of course. <laughs> it's been a really beautiful day. It's been a really... Uh just incredible day of like different um, representations of what love is that's basically what I think we're looking at we've got the different creative outlets the different singing the different uh, languages the different words but then we also have all the different art that we've been seeing and I just think it's been really as, as I said last year like it's been really beautiful to be able to do this at the back on the backdrop of a like, really beautiful garden it's just been really stunning I definitely feel for myself I feel like I've come and I've just literally filled my cup up with love and now I can go out in the world and just kind of keep spreading that love because we need more love in this world you know I think also I would say like with the level of stillness because I think um, particularly just coming out of what two three years of lockdown there hasn't been a lot of true stillness we've been stillness of our bodies but not stillness of our hearts and of our minds and i pray that we've come here and all the different um poetry the singing even the food like all these different things and they're just the community has brought like a sense of like <sighs> like that's that's what i'm hoping and that's what i think i'm feeling Events like this bring people together and you can see there's people from all walks of uh, background, um, you know, different cultures come together to celebrate, to feel good. I don't think these people would actually would have sat next to each other across the paths if, you know, if it wasn't for this kind of event. I would like them to see the inclusive aspects of Islam, that um, we do celebrate, we do have a good time, we are open people, we are uh, we, we, we love people and we, we like to love, we like to give and you know this is a good way to uh, demonstrate that as well so that's one thing I let them take away. The night journey, the night journey, the night journey.
Top of the barrack, the steed with speed, the heavenly creature with the general and the angel, them Jibril, them This is a, a, a intercultural cultural, a, activity, and it's this is what we need in this world, I believe. In, in this modern world, I mean, culture should know each other, come together and speak together and m makes us get rid of a lot of problems, possible problems in the, in the future. I think these events are very inclusive, you know, it's, you know, we're sitting at the table with a, a rabbi and a Christian and, you know, people of every culture. It's, it's really important. We need to share our stories and we need to know one another. and. Uh, we need to all stand up for peace in the world. I think if people feel a certain connectedness with the people around them, that's really important. We're, we're at a time where people are very divided. We were separated, all of us, for three years. And I think, if anything, it made us appreciate company. And I think we need to come together in whatever way we can and agree on the things that we agree on and just, OK, put the other things aside and we, we can we can resolve all that stuff, but we really need to be together as people. I really feel, you know, I grew up in the 60s, it was all about peace and love, and I know people think that's a very airy, very thing to say, but that, you know, as, as sentiments, they're very real, and they're very needed at this time. It's great, I mean, uh, I moved to Glasgow in February, and uh, one of the things that struck me since I moved to Glasgow is, is a great variety of different ethnicities and of course faiths as well. So it's great to come and experience here and meet the, the Sufi community. So it'll be really good to see more of these kind of events. Um, and also because I think this is a, a good way of showing uh, what Islam is about because it's really it's about like food it's about you know uh, friendship it's about culture it's about you know music and so this is a good way of showing all the glass regions that okay this is what Islam is about so we, we need to have more of these kind of events across the UK the Sufi festival is a, is a great festival um, I hope that it keeps going and keeps going from strength to strength and also be able to spread throughout the UK so other cities can have, have a chance of this. I got an invitation a few months ago in, back in February uh, to participate in the, in the Sufi festival and uh, I found that it's, uh, it's, it's, in, it's something that I have not heard about before and it carries a universal and a human message to the larger community. It goes beyond the massage, it goes beyond the small institutions and uh, when I was uh, told that, I, uh, that, that, uh, that the organizers wanted me to speak about the relation between Sufism and the modern world, I felt that there is much that Sufism can offer to to the modern society that we're in. That's part of, of, uh, of my focus and also part of my academic studies. So I came to, to speak, to share with people what I, uh, what I believe is something that can bring people from different traditions together. I'm hoping that people can get a, uh, can, can get a flavor of how diverse the manifestations of Islam can be as a tradition and that uh, the, 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 the spiritual side of Islam, which is actually part of the core of, it, of, the, of the faith, uh, can bring a lot of people together. I, I would advise people to make sure that this is not the end of, of uh, being in touch, but a start and uh, to get to know one another, to walk away with, with a friend at least, with some contact from this festival, so that they get to know beyond, so that from a Sufi festival, from a festival to a festival, people grow in knowledge and grow in connections as well.